Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today we are taking a look at the Surface earbuds. These retail for $200, which make them more expensive than the Google Pixel Buds and the Samsung Buds Plus, both of which right off the bat, I'll say I recommend wholeheartedly like 100% over these right here. And there's many reasons why. There'll be timestamps down below in the description so you can skip around if you wanna see something specific. And I'll also have a mic test at the end of the video so you can skip to that if that's all you want to hear. Now, first off, let's talk about the user experience. How do they feel in the ear? How does the case feel to use? You know, like everything like that. The most important thing to me is user experience because uh, you know, if they're annoying to take out of the thing and they don't feel good in your ear, what is the point of buying them? I just, no feature is gonna make up for it in my opinion. So the package or the little carrying case itself is very plasticky and hollow, especially coming right off of using the Pixel Buds, which were like the best case we've ever seen. So uh, yeah, it's very plasticky and hollow, but it looks very nice. It does attract a lot of fingerprints and lint and stuff, but overall, it's a nice case. It does have a very thin lid, which isn't hard to open, but it would have been easier to open had it had some sort of little indentation there for your finger to grip on so that it would come up instantly whenever, you know, without having to put pressure on it to open, which is not a big thing, but worth noting that not as easy to open as it could have been. The actual grabbing of the earbuds is a little odd compared to all the other ones because you have to grip onto this little kind of very thin circle. And if you don't readjust your grip after grabbing it, as you see here, and you try to put it on like this, you're going to drop the headphone. So you have to kind of grab it in a way that you can easily readjust your grip right after grabbing it. So you have a better grab on it. And then you can insert it into your ear where you just kind of, it points downward, then you twist and you keep basically twisting until it pulls on your ear and you can kind of tug around and it's kind of just stuck there. And that part's not difficult or anything, you know, just kind of tightens on and they're on and they don't feel like they're gonna fall out, but they also don't feel secure at all. And that's something that I do wanna talk about is that um, it's a really weird way of designing headphones because you can see kind of the space that's right there. And in that space, a lot of sound comes in. I can basically hear everything almost as if I had no headphones on, almost. And that creates a number of problems. First of all, there is sound leakage. So if you have these at about 70, 80% or so, people next to you are gonna hear what you're listening to, which kind of sucks. There's also no sound immersion. You're never gonna be able to focus on your music as you would with any of the other earbuds out there. Um, you're not gonna be able to hear your calls as well as you can with any of the other earbuds out there. And to me, it ruins the headphone experience completely. Once that happened, I was like, what is even the point of these earbuds? Because they're kind of marketed to business professionals and making a call doesn't go very well. Like unless you're in a quiet meeting room or something and if you're in an office and Janet from accounting is talking too loud, you're not gonna be able to focus on your call. They might be able to hear you well and you'll see in the mic test at the end, but if you can't hear what they're saying very well, what is the point? The same thing with music. I usually listen to my music at around 60%, 70% max on headphones. These to be able to hide just my keyboard sounds, which is a magic keyboard, which is very thin and it doesn't sound loud at all. I had to put up to 80% and I could still hear the, you know, just the clicking from my keyboard, which uh, was driving me crazy because 80% is already too high for me. Like the music is just too loud in my ear. Comparatively on the Buds Plus and AirPods Pro, I can listen to my music around 70, 60% and not hear my keyboard without you know active noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro, just you know normal passive noise cancellation on both the Buds Plus and AirPods Pro because that works really well with those. These have no sort of passive noise cancellation. They don't seal your ear in any way. And I think that is a huge drawback because I mean, you could say, well, you can hear the cars around you. You can hear the things going on around you. And yes, but it's also impeding your ability to hear this when you want to. You never have the option to turn something on or off like you can with the AirPods and Buds Plus. So, you know, with those, it's like, oh, I do want to hear the cars. Let me turn that on. I don't want to hear the cars. Let me turn that off. I don't want to hear Janet from accounting. So let me turn that on or off, et cetera, et cetera. And these were already kind of pushed back to now. They were supposed to come out like in the holidays or something like that. And they were just working more on the software, which I don't see anything particularly special aside from their Office 365 integration, which is supposed to be 
cool. Now talking about the Office 365 integration, you can basically connect these to your computer and change PowerPoint slides, which I thought that was the silliest one of them all because every meeting room has a clicker and this touchpad, you're not gonna consistently get it 100% of the time correct to change slides. So there is a dictation mode, which you know I feel like is much more feasible and stuff, but again, you can just use any microphone or any headphone set and just use normal dictation like you would with anything else. So it's not a particularly special reason to get these. There's also an Outlook integration where you can listen to your emails, connect it to your phone and do something like that. But again, it's not that great of a thing to actually, you know, reply to emails with. The whole Office 365 integration to me is just kind of like just an extra little feature there if you like the headphones or a gimmick to just, you know, hopefully bring in business customers. But uh, I don't know. Now, some of the good things that it does have is these nice large touch pads are definitely better at controlling media and stuff than all the other ones we've tried. So you can double tap to play and pause music. On Android, you can actually triple tap to just automatically start Spotify. And on one of the earbuds, you can control volume. On the other one, you can control backtracking and forward and skipping songs and stuff. So it's all very good because you get to do a lot of things from the headphones themselves. And it is really nice that there is an accompanying app on iOS and Android that allows you to change like equalizer settings, the audio, you can turn off the touch on these if you don't wanna mistakenly use touch or anything. So that's quite nice because I guess they could add more features in the future, which would be cool if they did because I feel like you could still add quite a bit of features to the app. And this case right here is gonna give you three eight hour charges to your headphones. So essentially giving you almost 24 hours of playback, which is definitely on the higher side compared, whoop, I dropped them. And actually talking about dropping these, these are the only ones that I've actually dropped compared to all the other ones that I've had. And that's mainly due to the thin little disc that you grab on compared to all the other ones. It's just a little bit more flimsy than the other ones to actually use and put back in the case and stuff. So worth noting, I think overall, you know, I didn't like using these to listen to music. I didn't like using these to make calls. I didn't like these in my ear at all compared to all the other ones. I don't like the $200 price tag, which makes it more expensive than the Buds Plus and the Pixel Buds. I don't like these headphones um, or earbuds, whatever you want to call them. I think Microsoft completely missed the mark. They should have come out years ago. And I'm just being honest. I want every product that comes out that's new to be better than anything else out in the market because that moves everything forward. So I'm going to leave you guys with the comparison test for the microphone so you guys can hear which ones sound best. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, feel free to comment down below and please do like the video. It helps the video a ton. And uh, yes, aside from that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the Surface earbuds indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Surface earbuds. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the Buds Plus indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Buds Plus. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the AirPods Pro indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the AirPods Pro. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the Pixel Buds indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Pixel Buds. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test outside near a street with the Surface earbuds to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Surface earbuds. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test outside near a street with the Buds Plus to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Buds Plus. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test outside near a street with the AirPods Pro to see how the audio quality sounds when using the AirPods Pro. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test outside near a street with the Pixel Buds to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Pixel Bud. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the Surface earbuds indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Pixel Buds. Hey guys, what's up, Daniel here. So this is a test with the Surface earbuds indoors to see how the audio quality sounds when using the Buds Plus.